their first single last year called Green, and it made everyone sit up and take notice. In July, they're releasing their album Good, totally recorded at their flat. If you do want to record an album at home, what, what kind of considerations do you have to have? Like, the, you know, the room, you put up your mattresses, all sorts of things like that. Yeah, um, basically we've had to record, you know, half the day as well. You know, we've soundproofed the room, but it's, it's you can still hear it outside a bit. So we've just recorded from 12 to 6, you know. But that's a lot, of, a lot of stuff is, you can record, like, vocals and things like that at any time, so it's not too bad. But basically, we've, we're lucky we've got the studio at the back so we can separate the bedrooms from like a control room mm. so there's no bleed over of sound so it's just having that space and running that big long lead to the room and you had no complaints from the neighbors no, no. they're the pretty crazy around here <laughs> <laughs> Great djs luck. and things <laughs> They've received several record company offers, but have chosen to go it alone. Does it feel like a bedroom album to you? Um, well, it's not really. Like, sonically, it doesn't sound um, like a bedroom recordings. It's just the, the space we used, so it's, um, it doesn't really feel like that. We've treated it as professionally as we can and, um, like, booked each other in for recording sessions and things like that and tried to work to schedules to make sure we got it done. And, run it like a proper studio. So, so like, you just so get woken up. Really <laughs> Excuse me, can you wake up? You've got to come next door. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we ended up getting to a point when we said that, um, Murray, you're going to have to start booking everybody in now. We're not going to get this done. So yeah. we had weeks where we did the drums and then Gareth had to come in and do all his bass parts and things like that. And being an engineer, did, were you familiar with the equipment that you're using or have you sort of learned a bit along the way or yeah, upskilled? I've, I've learned over the last three years, basically, in that shed. So it's the same equipment that's used in a studio, you know. We, we haven't got as much, but it's still the same quality, you know. Yeah, we've got a good sound card and some good microphones and we've been lucky enough to borrow gear off people and people have helped out with things like that, which is good. We've got a tube preamp and things like that. So how much how much does it actually cost you to make this album? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Virtually nothing, but we've had some help from NZ on Air, so, yeah. Yeah, and we've made some money from royalties from Green as well, which has been good, having on compilation albums and things like that. Yeah. And radio play. This is where Murray lives. Yes. It's just like your second home. Um, yes, it is. Yes. What's the gaffer tape up in the corner for? Um, that's actually to stop crickets getting in, because um, late at night when you're mixing uh, too loud, <laughs> you have to turn everything up because that's an <laughs> So it's just the sound of the crickets, or are they yeah, actually coming really in? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they drop in. You... <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Cricket. So, it's not that hard to do it on your own. Give it a go. If good shirts your thing, we've got five double passes to give away to their release concert in Auckland on July 6th. If you can't make that, buy the new album. It's out on the same date, and it looks like this. Here's their second single. It's called Blowing Dirt, and it's...